Hi everyone, in this video we're going to do a basic math problem. I'm going to show you how to use something called tabular integration. And so let's just do it. So let's say we have an indefinite integral. Uh, so we have x squared times e to the 2x dx. So how do you use tabular integration and when can you use it? And again, the word I'm saying is tabular integration. And this is just an abbreviated version of the integration by parts method, okay? And so you basically want to use this when one of the factors in your integrand is eventually zero after repeated differentiation, and the other factor, you have to be able to integrate it, okay? So if you can do both of those things, you can um, use tabular. Okay, so here you can see that when we differentiate x squared over and over again, it's eventually gonna be zero, right? So let's start with that. So you write down x squared. And then over here we write down e to the 2x. And then you just start differentiating. So the derivative of x squared is 2x, right? You bring down the 2, subtract 1 from the exponent. You do it again, you get 2. You do it again, you get 0. Here you're integrating e to the 2x. This is a really easy integral. And if you actually had to go through it and like do it every time, you would make a u substitution. You would let u equal 2x. So then du is 2dx, and then you divide by 2, so 1 half du is dx, and then you make the substitution, right? So your dx becomes 1 half du, and you get e to the u du, and you end up with e to the 2x over 2 plus a constant, right? Did that super, super quick. The point is you don't have to do that. All you do is divide by the number, e to the 2x over 2. Then you do it again, e to the 2x over 4, because you're dividing by 2 again, so you're really multiplying by 1 half. Do it again e to the 2x over 8. Start with the plus always, plus, minus, plus, minus. So again, you pick the factor that you can differentiate, just differentiate using the power rule, and then you integrate this, just repeated differentiation, in this case it's super easy because it's e to a number times x, so you can just divide by that number. Then you just draw arrows, follow the arrows, and that's gonna be the answer. So this, this integral is equal to, so x squared times this, so I'm gonna pull out that 1 half, and then minus 2x times this, that's going to be minus 1 half x e to the 2x. And then 2 times 8, that's going to be 1 fourth e to the 2x. Then we just add our c, and boom, there it is. Super quick and easy, right? So very, very powerful technique, very useful for differential equations, very useful in calculus uh, and other math classes. It's powerful because it's fast, right? I can look at this and I say, oh, that's a super easy derivative, boom. Oh, that's a super easy integral. Boom, plus, minus, plus, minus. Draw arrows, multiply. Let's check, 1 half x squared e to the 2x. Boom, looks okay. Minus 2x times this, yep, because the 2 and uh, the 4 become 1 half. The 2 and the 8 are gonna become 1 fourth, and that's positive that time. So everything looks okay, and we added our constant of integration, so all is good. Hopefully you've learned some mathematics from watching this video. Take care.